Good morning, welcome to day 17 of Morning Maths with Mr Saul. You just need pencil and paper, copy me if you need to, go faster than me if you can. Right, there's a few more things on the board today, but question one is here. That's a picture of question one. It's a picture of 85. So if I write the number 85, we're looking for the value of the 5 in 85. Five's in the units or ones column, eight's in the tens column. The value of the five is very simply five units. So question one, the answer is five units because it's in the units column. And the bit it's talking about is this bit here. Just these little five units, five units, which is five. Trying to avoid the apples, which I'll be using later. So question one, the answer is five units five. That's what the five is worth in 85. We're going to move on to question two. Just copy that down if you haven't already done that. Question one, five units five. Right, question two. I've done a little bit of preparation for this because I wanted to draw this one as well. So looking down here, I've really done a picture of this 67 plus 20 because this is 67 here. One, two, three, four, five, six tens. That's a T. And seven units. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They're not as big as one ten, are they? Seven units. They're smaller than one ten. Six tens, seven units. We're going to add 20 because it says 67 plus 20. We're going to add 20, which is two tens, isn't it? Two T, 20. Should really be called two T, but we call it 20 because it's two tens. Zero units. Okay? So. When we add those together, when we add, we just put things together. So I can just take these, put them here. You can see only the tens is changing. I'll have two extra tens on there. So the tens won't be six anymore. It goes up to eight when I put things together. So the answer is 87. That's what happened when I put everything together. 67 plus 20 is 87. I'll do it in a column method. We know the answer is 87. This is another way it can be written. Units and tens. Seven plus zero is seven. Six plus two is eight. So the 67, the units didn't change. We didn't add anything to the units, just the tens changed. It went up two to eight. And the answer is 87. So make sure you've got that down for question two. So just to make a change, I drew a picture of the addition today. We'll very soon be moving on to question three. Hopefully you're ready. You've got a minute to catch up while I delete these. Well, not a minute. Oops, don't want to delete that yet. I might even leave them. Right, let's go on to question three. You're probably waiting. Question three is eight minus three. You can do that on a number line. Do it before me if you can. Eight, take away three. Go to eight, excuse this one this time, and take away one, two, Three, you can see what we get, we get five. Eight take away three is five. When we do takeaways, the number we start with, which was eight, gets smaller because it becomes five because you've taken things away from it. Question four is next. Question four is multiplication, nine times 10. It's when you've got nine, but you haven't just got it once, you've got it 10 times. Or we could sing our 10 times table would be best in year three. We could sing our 10 times table nine times. So 10 and 20, 30 and 40, 50 and 60, 70, 80 and 90. And I get 90. That is 10 times nine, which is the same as nine times 10. So number four is 90. If you are wondering what these apples are for, they're for question five. You could probably guess what I'm going to do with them. Question five, 10 divided by five. I've got 10 apples. I carefully counted them because it wouldn't work if I didn't have 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to share them between five, let's say people. So I'm going to draw five stick people. There's one, there's another. These people all want apples, all right? They really like apples. So I'm going to share the 10 apples between those five people, those brilliantly drawn people that I've got there. One, two, three, four, five people. So let's give them an apple each if we can. These are big apples. I don't think anyone could eat more than one of those. I don't think they could even eat one. Look at the size of those people. That apple's massive compared to them. 
Let's give them all a second apple if we've got enough. They might have to eat some tomorrow. There, they've all got two apples because the answer is two. So 10 apples shared between five people equals two apples each. You might get a word problem like that. If I had 10 apples and I shared them between five people, how many apples would each person get? The answer would be two apples, and you can see that in the picture. 10 divided by five equals two. All right, let's move on to the year four level work. Let's get rid of our apples. And let's get going with question six. Value of three in 4,357. 4,357, value of the three. Units, it's not units, tens, it's not tens. Hundreds, it's hundreds. It's not thousands either, is it? It's hundreds. So the answer is three hundreds. I'm sure you're very good at these questions by now. In brackets, the digits answer is 300. And that's question six. So keep up with the copying if you're with me. And we'll move on to question seven. Question seven, 20 more than, now more than means plus, 20 more than 862. So 862 plus 20. Only the tens column's going to change. Tens column's going to go up by two. The hundreds and the units column are not going to change because two plus zero is two, and eight will still be eight. Six, you shouldn't really do it in that order to be honest, but I can on this question. Some of you will understand why. But the tens, six plus two, six plus one, two is eight. Six plus two is eight, or six tens plus two tens is eight tens. We get 882. But you might be able to do that in your head because you you could see that only this column is going to change. Only the six, which goes up to an eight. Six tens goes up to eight tens. 882, make sure you've got that down. And we're on question eight. This is a weird one. 99 less than 100. Well, less than means take away. In take away, you need to put the biggest number at the top. And it's 100 because that's bigger than 99. If you're doing column method, that is. But a lot of you might know what 100 take away 99 is anyway. If you've got 100 and you take away 99, you've not got much left, have you? In fact, you've got one left. I'll just show you with the column method how it gets the answer, which is definitely 1. 10 take away 9 is 1. 9 take away 9 is 0. And 0 is just 0. 001. That's James Bond's friend. 001. But we don't need those zeros. We can just say 1. Let's move on to question 9. 222 multiplied by 4. Today, I'll remember to actually draw the grid method first. In year 5, I normally do the standard method, which you'll learn in year 4, but probably not yet. 222, 222 multiplied by 4. All right, let's get some blue answers. 4 times 2 is 8. And we'll place those two zeros because 4 times 200 is 800. In the next box or space, 4 times 2 is 8. Place one zero, that's 80. 4 times 20 is 80. And over here, 4 times 2 is, of course, 8. 880 and 8. 888. Can you see how it adds to 888? There's 8 in the hundreds, there's 8 in the tens, and there's 8 in the units. You could do column method to do the adding, but if it's that easy, you don't have to, do you? So question 9, 888. Really, when you multiply by 4, multiply 2 by 8. Sorry, multiply 2 by 4, it's 8. 2 by 4 is 8. 2 by 4 is 8. So it's 888. Let's go on to question 10. 404 divided by 4. So we're doing these quite simple bus stops at the moment, just to make you remember your bus stops from year 3. Because you do them a little bit in year 3, but you might not have done that if you weren't in school. So it can be a bit tricky. So we're using simple numbers. What we say here is how many fours fit into four? Well, four is four, so it fits exactly into four once. So if it is the same, it's one. How many fours fit into zero? It's zero because four is too big to fit into zero. How many fours fit into four? One. A hundred and one. Four hundred and four shared between four is a hundred and one. Right, year five level. Question 11. Not just year fives who do this, of course. What have we got? 7565. 7565. Make sure I copy that right. The value of the 7. It's not units, it's not tens, it's not hundreds, it's thousands. Not too difficult compared to ones we've been doing lately. Seven thousands. And the 
and that looks like 7,000 in digits or figures. Okay, question 12. The sum of. Sum is a great word in maths because a lot of children think it means all maths. I'm doing my sums, it means I'm doing all maths. Well, it doesn't actually mean that. Sum only means one sign in maths, and that is plus. What is the sum of, or the sum of, 4,444 and 8,888? I hope you're copying this while you're listening. The sum of those means add them. So remember that word, sum means plus. So really, you should only say, I'm doing my sums, if you're actually doing addition, plus. 4 plus 8 is 12. I'm going to say that a few times. 4 plus 8 is 12, but plus 1 goes up to 13. 4 plus 8 is 12, but plus 1 goes up to 13. 4 plus 8 is 12, but plus 1 is 13. Oh, that doesn't need to be a little one, because I'm at the end. It's a big one, a very important one. It's in the tens of thousands column. Units, tens, hundreds, thousands. And as you've learned this year, year 5, if you're year 5, tens of thousands. If you know that before year 5, you're a bit ahead. Anyway, we've got our answer, 13,332. 13,332. And we're on question 13. I think I'll fit this one on. This is much smaller. Minus 200. Biggest number at the top in minus. It was already at the front, wasn't it, that 200? 200 minus 135. Um, time for some help because zero can't take away five. Zero take away five you can't do in column method. Go to here, no help. Go to here. That goes down to a one. Ten can then go down to a nine. Ten can then take away five because it's five. 9 take away 3 is 6, and 1 take away 1 is 0, which you don't need to write because the answer is 65. I hope you're keeping up year 5s and everyone else who's doing this. And we go to year, we go to question 14. Not year 14. There's not even a year 14 in school. The last year you can ever be in really is year 13. 2,657 times 5. 2,657 times 5. So, 5 times 7, um, column method, yep, that's right. 5 times 7, 35. 5 times 5, 25, plus 3, 28. 5 times 6, 30, plus 2, 32. 5 times 2, 10, plus 3, 13. Another big answer, 13,285. Just checking over my times tables, so you know what I'm like. With my mistakes, got to find them. I think I found them because I don't think there were any. So let's go on to question 15. This is a more difficult bus stop to the one the year fours are doing. 8,850 shared between three or divided by three. So whenever, whenever something is getting shared or divided, you're going to use, well, very often the bus stop. Also, when you're finding a third of something, you divide by three. That might be helpful to you. How many threes in eight? Three, six, nine. No, I went too far. How many threes in eight? Three, six. That is two. Up to six. Seven, eight. It's remainder two. Lots of threes in 28. Three, six, nine, 12, and 15. 18, 21, and 24. 27. My fingers are saying nine when I go up to 27. But that says 28, so there's one left over. How many threes in 15? Three, six, nine, 12, and 15. My fingers said five. How many threes in zero? None. But it's a very important zero. Changes it from 295 to 2950. So you do need that zero. And we've got our answer, 2950. Let's go to year six level, question 16. Value of the six in 23.56. Usually these are decimal ones in year six to trick you. Hopefully you're not getting tricked much anymore. Units comes before the decimal point. Tenths, I'll write the little t this time, and hundredths, little h this time. So it's six we want, six hundredths. This is our answer, six hundredths. And as usual, we could do a decimal, action, uh, decimal answer and a fractions answer. Fractions answer, six hundredths. Decimal answer, 0 0.06. 0 0.06, there we go. There's all the three answers, and we're on question 17. Four point seven five eight. Let's K 
careful with the digit copy in here. 4.758, four digit number, plus another four digit number, 3.284. Do you know how many decimal places in each of these numbers? They both have three decimal places, don't they? One, two, three, one, two, three, that's digits after the decimal point. Let's do the adding then, it is adding. So eight plus four is 12. 5 plus 8 is 13, plus 1 is 14, 7 plus 2 is 9, plus 1 is 10, 4 plus 3, plus 1 is 8. That's right, isn't it? Everyone happy with that? Nope. I'm not happy with that. We need the decimal point. One small thing is very, very important. 8.042. 4 and a bit plus 3 and a bit made 8 and a bit because we had a carried one. That's why it's not 7 and a bit. It's 8 and a bit. Okay, let's go to question 18. We've been doing these day after day after day, these, so hopefully, don't have to explain why 7 is bigger than 3 and a bit. Hopefully, you'll know that you have to do the 7.00. You need good training on these questions because they love these in the SATs because they trick most, well, they trick many children in the country, these do. A lot of people think 7 is smaller than 3.72 when, of course, it's not. I oh, know I put my minus in the wrong place. All right, zero take away two, can't do it. Get some help. As we do, 10 take away two is eight. Nine take away seven is two. And six take away three is three. Seven take away three and a bit is three and a bit. Number bond check, 72 and 28 make 100. So happy with that. And we're on question 19. 2.84 times 8, so I normally put the decimal point in at the end because you line it up as if there's no decimal point. It's just weird times. It's a bit weird. It's a bit wrong. You just line up the decimal point in a different way, really. But it's going to go in here, isn't it? So let's do 8 times 4 is 32. 8 times 8 is 64, plus 3 is 67. 8 times 2 is 16, plus 6 is 22 okay that's almost right but I must make sure the decimal place is in the right decimal points in the right place two decimal places there and none on the eight because it's just eight units um, so two decimal places in the answer I mean it's going to be 22.72 two times eight is 16 though no, that's a bit bigger than that but 2.84 is actually nearer to three and three times eight is 24 we've got 22 in a bit so that sounds right to me Last question. <clears throat> I always say to children in my set, you can get really fast on these bus stops in the end. 20.56 divided by 2. And in the end, children can get to accurate 5 second bus stops with enough practice. It makes your life a lot easier when you're really good on the bus stop. 1 in there, 0 in there, 2, 1, and 8, 10.28. We halved it, didn't we? We halved 20.56. Half of 20 is 10, half of 56 is 28. So that's correct, 10.28. Let's look at the answers. 10.28 and everything else. See you later.